day. Haven't done one of these in a while. Okay, this is kind of a complex one. But, um, okay, um, the thought of the day is, is never allow significant others to dictate, number one, life decisions. I will never make a life decision contingent on what somebody else thinks or feels. I don't give a fuck because at the end of the day, it doesn't pay my bills. Relationships are very subjective. They're like toilet paper. You know what I'm saying? They don't last. They're they're in, they're out. They're down the toilet. And what does it look like when it comes back? It's never the same. You know what I'm saying? You can't recycle toilet paper. That's relationships for you. Because once it comes out the sewer, what does it look like exactly? It'll never be pristine. Never. You know what I'm saying? That's the best way to, to look at a relationship. Like toilet paper. So, knowing that, you never allow a significant other to dictate your friends, okay? If you do that, then basically the friend will probably consider you not a friend anymore because you allowed this to happen, you know what I'm saying? Because that kind of basically makes you lose all credibility where it's like, you know what, you're fucking up, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let you slide on this, but note to self, you know, that kind of basically kind of makes me think you're a weak person. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like you can't make decisions for yourself or was the friendship even real? So these are kind of things you need to kind of consider when you're going through that type of dynamic. It should never happen. You should never be going through that situation. It shouldn't happen. Otherwise, you know, it's not a real friendship. Or whoever it is that uh, the significant other is has some serious control issues and, it may, and that control issue may be with you or it may be with somebody else and so on and so forth. At the end of the day, it's toxic and it's a very volatile situation and the best thing to do is back up. Stay out of it. Allow the smoke to clear and then whenever they're done fucking up, they can apologize because that's because they're wrong. So, other than that, that's pretty much it, you know? Be a good friend. Sometimes it's good to kind of step away and allow the, allow the smoke to clear and then, when, and then, and then you kind of have to do damage control and kind of explain the fuckery that's been going on. But other than that, everything is great. You guys have a happy Sunday. Peace, love, hair grease. And uh, that'll be cool.